over 70 killed and about 200 injured near Lewisham in the worst rail crash since Harrow and Wheelstone. But this time there was additional horror, for it was the crash no one saw. Thick fog wrapped everything as the 456 steam train from Cannon Street to Ramsgate crashed into the back of the 518 electric train from Charing Cross to Hayes, Kent. Worst tragedy of all was the fact that the crash came under a viaduct carrying another line. Rearing coaches destroyed the support and the steel bridge collapsed, crushing several compartments and everybody in them. Only a miracle saved the death row from being perhaps the highest in railway history for a third train. Its power cut off by the broken bridge came to a stop on the overhead line. Its front coach was derailed within inches of plunging through the gap onto the carnage beneath. As daylight breaks, rescue work becomes easier, but the picture of the disaster more horrifying, though all but seven coaches were removed during the night. The number of known dead has risen to 72, and rescue workers believe there may be as many as 30 bodies still buried beneath the wreckage of the viaduct. There are still many hours of work ahead before the grim tangle of twisted steel can be cleared and the final total discovered. One thing is sure, no one in the smashed compartments can still be alive. Transport Commission Chief Sir Brian Robertson and Southern Region Chairman Sir Philip Water inspect the scene of the tragedy. No one can yet say what was the cause. Many people are asking why no fog service was in operation at the time, but the railway authorities will make no statement till the official inquiry. But as reports of the night's event come in, one thing is outstanding, the selfless work of the rescuers, both official and unofficial. There is scarcely a home within reach of the crash which has any blankets or sheets left. They gave all they had to the rescue workers, and every house and flat was sheltering injured. This is a working class area where there is little to spare, but no one held back on this terrible night. Our cameramen who have filmed battlefronts and disasters for many years say this is one of the most gruesome tragedies they have ever seen. Tragedy underlined by the fact that many of the 3,000 travelers who packed the three trains were Christmas shoppers, men, women, and children. And the rescue workers had to pick their way through strewn parcels pathetic in their gay wrappings. How could it happen? The inquiry will have to find out, and the public will not only expect an answer, they will want to know how it can be prevented from happening again. Repetition of such a tragedy Britain cannot afford.